I was just on the edge of getting married, and I was frenzied at the prospect of having been a bachelor for so long, and I really wanted to take my mind off the agony. If you're going to be seen on uh, this type of level, uh, this caliber of a, of a star that you want to be, you're going to have to be open to a little bit of Even in the media paper they and, said I looked like the two, one of the two Ronnies. It's just used to sell papers. It's all about money. Highly embarrassing. I mean, I had to change my image and I've shaved that stupid moustache. And they were it. laughing. They were, they were laughing with you, not at you. They're happy for you and they're happy that, that you got the role. I don't think I'd go to the second screening, to tell you the truth, really. I'd just like to take this opportunity to say thank you to Perry and Garabas and uh, Mark McGruffin. Thank you, Mark. I'd also like to thank Derek. And I'd like to thank the camera crew and the, uh, the makeup artists that sadly can't be here, Frank Alonso and Harry Henderson, as they're on their honeymoon. Okay, <laughs> so moving on. Uh, as an actor, yes, as an actor, um, I was given the opportunity to uh, go study at the Michael Caine School of Acting and then um, sadly didn't take that opportunity. I moved on to the, um, the Sir Richard Attenborough School of Talented Actors. Um, moving on with these actors, it, it came to a point where Richard would say, he'd be like the eagle in the nest and he would say, Come on, it's time to fly. So he said, Jonathan, it's time to fly, 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 the fuck off. The fuck off. No. Okay, okay, thank you. Have a good evening, thank you very much. Well, you, you kind of intimated that he was he was willing to sort himself out, and we're getting very close to a actual production date uh, now, which in itself is a small mirror. I'm just wondering um, where the status lays as of now. Listen, Sebastian Hamsworthy is the subject here. Who is he? Put him on. No, he, no, he's not here. This is we're a follow-up call to the last time I spoke to you, in which you told me. He was going to uh, rejuvenate himself, as it were, uh, from some of his, his personal problems and that some sort of crisis he was going through. The state of his health. Okay, by the clinic you mean. There's no room for an actor who is under sedation. You remember, you support me as well, don't you? This is a James Bond this movie. Needs to go, 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 go. You must forgive me, I have so many projects on the go that I, uh, I get crossed up just a, just a bit here. My secretary name, okay. name, name two others. Not even like it's not even high enough to do anything. You just you just if you do that you'll just you break one of your legs and that's the most that will happen. I'm not gonna fly. 
I'm gonna jump and get the stump man, and he could break his bloody leg. Come on, it's just, it's not a big deal. We'll just, there's no problem. We'll, we'll figure it out. That's all he is, is an embarrassment. He represents me. Don't you understand? I'm not even looking at you. I'm not looking at you. The less, the less I look at you, the less you want to do this. Come on. No. When's anyone ever going to take me seriously? Uh, Derek, he, he knows we're coming, doesn't he? Yeah, we've relayed a message. He's been texting me revolting insults all day. Arsehole. Oh, I mean, I mean, read these. I mean, is that normal? He's the one that's in rehab. Fatty. Well, not out loud. You couldn't hack your way out of a paper bag. That arsehole, that insulting arsehole. You're a worse Bond than Lazenby. This is fucking harassment. I'd give five pounds to see you run for six seconds. I mean, I don't have to take this. Can you even find your penis? Oh wait, there's, there's a new one. The only thing that keeps me from going to England to set your house on fire what? is I like Derek. That's the newest one. Oh wait, there's, there's a new one. I was the main star in Bill and Ben. I've seen better heads on a cock. Well, Derek, I don't really see the reason for me being here. You sent a goddamn release for the documentary. Shut the fuck up. It's true. It's supposed to be like a documentary about you. Well, At least we... someone came and saw a doctor. Well, there's nothing wrong with me. I've had my medical. Well, there's nothing wrong with you. You look like a diaper full of chili. You know how many fucking times I've been to rehab? No. A lot. I have a feeling I'm going to hear about it. Otherwise, you're Cook Jr. in 1977. These kids were coming in visiting them, they steal all the goddamn food. It smells like shit in there. Well, well, Sebastian. I always thought you'd uh, end up here. <laughs> so, uh, what step of the program are you on now? The, uh, the apology step. Who's he? Sebastian, I'm just, we're just kind of uh, wondering how you are and the date for the film is approaching um, very quickly. I'm just wondering how your health is and, and if you're up for it and you're good. And... Yourself, because the boy must fall before you. I, I don't understand. A oh boy? If somebody who knows no ill, really, comes to a palais de danse and kicks up his heels in the air because he's a Celt, who are you to forgive? Really? If he's a, he falls, and he because he's a better dancer. I'm not with it. Oh, nor am I. We've got a half an hour to talk about that. And we're going to talk about sexuality and where tits lie. I don't want to be a chicken ass. If we're gonna go down there, we're gonna ride the big old chopper. He's fucking drunk. Yes, I have a boat. It has a wench. I am a fisherman. I live in Gurney yeah. and I'm very happy there. 
and I once drank 106 pints and screwed Lee Marvin at drinking. He's fucking fired. He's fucking done. Yeah, I gathered that. And you get a fucking haircut. This isn't Lethal Weapon 2. What does that even mean? I had points on that one. Everybody rented it that summer. That fucking exploding toilet paid Derek, for my I don't yacht. I don't know if you actually realize I could actually play the part of Scaramanga as well as James Bond. Oh, we're fucked. Well, we're I know fucked. people. You know, I mean, I've been an actor for so long now. Oh, fuck off.